Hello and welcome to another session on J meter. Now today we will be discussing about pacing and what is pacing. So pacing is a mechanism by which we control the number of users, the time delay between two iterations, ramp up and ramp down periods. So how do we do pacing in uh, J meter? Let's understand that. For that we need to add a plugin stepping thread group in J meter from plugins manager. You can alternatively download the jar files from the site over here J meter plugins where you have uh, stepping thread group jpgc casutg which gives five thread groups to you stepping thread group ultimate thread group concurrency thread group arrivals thread group free from arrivals thread group so all these are very helpful uh, in your uh, j meter tests today let's see how the stepping thread group works here i have created a test plan in which i have added the stepping thread group once you uh, download it from the plugins manager and you right click over here add it and in the thread section you will get a stepping thread group here it is so this is how you add a stepping thread group and under that stepping thread group i have added three http requests for new tools.demo.com this is for the home page this is for the register page and this is for the sign on page then i have added aggregate report at the level of test plan a view results in table at the level of test plan and view results in tree so now let's configure the stepping thread group so currently the default structure is as given here now let's configure it and uh, let's see what changes we get in this graph so this group will start at 100 threads so it will start 100 threads and first we will wait for 10 threads so we will wait initially for 10 threads to uh, ramp up and then start 10 threads so after ramping up 10 threads we will start another set of 10 threads next add 10 threads every 10 seconds so are you noticing the difference in the graph see how it is becoming here so we have added 10 threads every 10 seconds using ramp up of 0 so we are not using any ramp up period here so see how the graph changes then hold for 60 seconds finally step finally stop 10 threads every 10 seconds so it's plain simple english and we have uh, created such a plan so that there is an even distribution of threads over a period of time so now let's start executing first let's save our uh, test plan and we will proceed after that so our test plan is pacing and we will save it now so let's let me put the cursor on view results tree and let me start the execution okay i have triggered the execution and now it is executing so we have specified a ramp up period and that's the reason it is waiting see the results have started coming in and few of the tests are passing few of the tests are failing so we are getting a lot of request here and this is how pacing works so it waited for the time specified in the stepping thread group and then now slowly 
if you notice over here it will start i think it has yeah it has started ramping up and once it reaches 100 it will start a ramp down so let's wait and watch what happens currently it is at 60 threads out of 100 threads and we have got some error over here okay number of errors so uh, that, that has something to do with the http request never mind uh, uh, that we can take care of that anyway once we start debugging our test so we are at 80 threads out of 100 threads Ninety threads out of hundred, and now we will be reaching hundred threads in some time now. Yeah, we are at hundred threads. We are running at the maximum load now of hundred threads. Now it will start the ramp down after running for uh, same threads for about uh, some time. So whatever time we had mentioned in, uh, yep, let's see what time we had mentioned over there. Yeah, this this was the time. So from 140 to somewhere after 230. So it will slowly start ramping down now. So uh, when the clock ticks 230. After 2.30, it will start ram down at 2.40 somewhere, around 2.40. I think it will take some more time for starting the ram down. 2.50. Yeah, it has started the ram down. So, you, did you notice it has come down to 98 threads now? and it is ramping down slowly 95 94 it will continue till 4 minutes 10 seconds so it calculates the total duration from these seconds that we have mentioned over here eighty three now eighty two and we can see what uh, things we are getting in the aggregate report yeah we have started getting the ninety percentile ninety five percentile ninety nine percentile min max error percentage so sign on page has a maximum error percentage which is hundred percent all the tests have failed the throughput is given over here the kilobytes per second is here and we see the view results in tree already and the uh, res view results in table also gives us some data like uh, sample time, the status, bytes, latency time, connect time, etc. etc. So we have successfully executed our pacing. This is what is called pacing. So Pacing is also there in load runner. This concept is there in uh, almost all the tools that are used in performance testing. So this is how you do pacing, it will eventually uh, worn out, this this I think it has stuck for some reason but this is how you do it and we will cover sequential and schedule execution in the next session. So till then have a nice time.